And uh, I am excited to be here with you this morning. Thanks for joining me every week for Monday Morning Mojo. This is really um, such a great community of people which continues to grow and it's great uh, to see that. I'm always excited to come on with you each Monday and share some thoughts and ideas that can help you have a great week to think differently, to be more productive, uh, to maybe dial down some of the stress and anxiety and level up on the energy that we all need to be successful. And um, I was not able to join you last week. I was traveling. I was um, away at a leadership conference um, that was geared towards leaders uh, in, in real estate who are either leading brokerages or big teams. And um, it was good. There was a lot of information that I took from that. And gosh, it's busy. I have to tell you, right? It is, it is exciting and busy. And I have a lot of things going on as most of you do, or all of you do. Uh, and it can be a lot to manage. And, and I don't know about you, but sometimes I can get a little anxious thinking about all the balls I have in the air. Anybody relate to that? Talk to me, uh, put it on uh, the chat. Yes, I see some hands are waving. So, uh, you know, we live really busy, exciting lives. And I personally am partners in running multiple businesses. And um, we have some new ad adventures ahead of us, uh, some new businesses that we're going to be launching. Um, I have, you know, a lot of things that I'm responsible for, a lot of people that I lead in our organizations as well. And um, as you know, and some new developments happening really every day. So it was a little more than a week ago where I started really like thinking about all the things that I had to do and all the things that I was keeping my eye on. And, and I was feeling anxious, just fully, full disclosure, I was feeling anxious. And I was, it was kind of like just rattling around in my head. So I put my coach hat on and decided that I needed to uh, take a second and think about what would be the one thing that I could do right now that would help me organize my thoughts and would help me get a clear picture of what I need to do? And so what I decided I needed to do, which I have recommended many times in uh, coaching others, is I sat down and I drew a mind map. So that's what I want to talk to you about today is, first of all, what is a mind map and what are the benefits of mind mapping? And if you've ever done a mind map, uh, let me know, put that in the chat and uh, tell me what your experience has been. And I have to tell you, since I was able to spend a few, well, it probably was more than a few minutes, if I have to be honest with you, it was probably something that I worked on for about 40 minutes. And um, so this is, this is my mind map which, you know, can look different for everyone, but it's basically where you start with one central thought in the middle of your paper. And so for me, my central thought was, I just wrote Anna <laughs> because it was everything that I had to, 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 to work on or that I had, you know, uh, in, in process. And then from there, I started drawing out like the different companies and then in, in each of those areas for the for the individual companies, I could then start getting clear about what I was working on uh, for each of those projects or companies or what have you. So I want to share some thoughts with you this morning about mind mapping because I think anyone can benefit from mind from from taking the time to create a mind map, and it can be done for for you. Uh, in a professional setting, it can be done because you have a lot of other projects, you know, I mean, even even if you have like a really big project, like uh, some kind of home renovation, you could mind map it out. So first of all, a mind map is it's just a diagram, right, that you're going to draw. And it's it's to visually organize information. So a mind map is used to create a visual way to organize information. And what it does is it helps you sort it out. 
right? It helps you um, sort it out in, in terms of like relationships, in terms of some kind of um, order or hierarchy, right? And so what starts to happen is you can break down like the whole concept into smaller pieces. And the way you start is by creating that central image or that central, and it's usually words, right? It's 99% of the time it's words. I've never really seen it done in, in any other way. So what is that central concept, right? So if it was a home renovation, it could be home renovation or kitchen or whatever. Um, if it's a project, the name of the project. And so that that's where you start. That's where you start. And so it can be done in lots of different ways. Um, I mean, some mind maps can get pretty, pretty wild and, and sort of intricate. Uh, some can be very simple. I think it depends on just how finite you need to get the information, right? How specific you need the information to be. And, um, and so I'll share some examples of mind maps. I know for today, you know, this is a visual video, but um, I'll, I'll see if I can share some uh, examples of mind maps with you on, on the um, Facebook group. Let me see if I can just pull something up right now to give you an idea. Um, so this one is using an example. Let's see if I can share my screen. So this is giving a very simple example of this person is planning a vacation. And so they're taking the vacation and they're breaking it down into smaller parts. You know, who's going, where are they going? What are the activities that they need to plan out? The transportation, accommodations. So that's a very simple example of a mind map. Um, as I said, in my example, I started with myself as the central concept, and then I was able to draw a line out from there with each of the companies, projects, and different things that I'm working on. And so, as I said, this could take a little time um, because you really want to use this as a way to get specific. It's about chunking down the whole concept and helping you to understand the relationships between things and all the moving parts. Because it's the moving parts, right, that are sometimes what is escaping us. And so, by the way, if, you, if you're interested, I'm sure that you'll, you can find a lot of templates online uh, and you can find a lot of information online about creating the mind map. Who's ever done a mind map before? Let us know if you've done it, how has it helped you? Um, so, when you can uh, sit down and create this, this flow of information, right? Then you're really able to start to focus on what are the tasks that I need to get done? What are the, the uh, specific items that I need to, to get on my calendar, right? Because the mind map is a visual of, of your world at that moment around that central concept. And then you have these things laid out, you still need to then look at how do I make time for that? Where does it show up on my calendar? Where does it show up on my list of priorities? And I will say that that's another thing as your coach, I will share with you that this mind map should focus on your big rocks, right? We've talked about uh, the 80-20 rule before, and we've talked about how only 20% of your activities are going to bring you 80% of the results that you seek. So your mind map shouldn't just be a huge mind dump of everything. I think it's important that you, as I've said, start with that central concept. Now, is it possible you might need to do two different mind maps, depending on what you have going on in your world? Possible, but just just if you can identify that central concept, it should start taking you out in different areas of what you have to focus on, right? Different categories of what you have to focus on. And then I keep this in front of me. I keep this in front of me so that, especially on a Monday morning, I can look at creating, you know, creating what the new priorities are for the week and, and make decisions about what I have to work on, right? And, and what is the one thing 
what is the one thing in each of those areas that I need to do first? Because when I, when I put my time on that one thing, everything else will seem easier or maybe less important, right? We've talked about that concept here on Mojo before. So the same rules apply. We're not creating new rules. The same rules apply about how we manage our behavior when it comes to time. Because remember, we cannot manage time. We can only manage our behavior, right? And so that's how I look at this. Um, you know, the mind, doing a mind map is, is your brain loves it. Your brain is like, yes, I get to get all this information sorted out um, because your brain is just capturing all this thinking all the time. Right. So your brain has all these thoughts rolling around and it's kind of doing its best to chase after you and sort information. But then we that 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 filtering system that we have in the back of our brain called the reticulate activating system that, you know, that's the filter. But the filter can change based on what we're thinking, seeing, feeling, doing. And so it's just constantly trying to keep up. So the mind mapping is is really, really helpful because it's like sorting out laundry. It's like putting things in its different piles and then you're making the connections uh, to the central concepts that start shooting out from that one concept in the middle. And then you're able to get specific about what those activities have to be, okay? So, so the benefits of mind mapping, if I was to give you a list, so in case you're still not convinced that you should take some time today to do this, uh, is that it, it also will help you remember information. Because again, all this stuff rolling around in your head, when you sit down to, to do this, you get really into all those thoughts. And so you start capturing thoughts. And as you write things out, the, the next thought that's connected to the first thought shows up. So you're really able to collect information and recall information through the process of creating the mind map in a way that you may not be recalling just working throughout the day, right? And I also think that the, the practice of mind mapping, uh, it gets your brain working in a different way. And so that workout can be very helpful to help you learn some new concepts. Um, and it, it also, the benefit of doing a mind map, as I said a few minutes ago, it breaks down complex ideas into something easier to understand. And the more simple we make things, the more effective we become. Right. Many of us are, are complex thinkers where, um, you know, logical problem solvers, critical thinkers. But the more that we can chunk information down, the more we can break it down into smaller parts, the faster we can process. And the I think the easier it is to understand and the more effective we become, because it's it's that old saying, how do you eat an elephant? Right. It's one bite at a time. So chunking down is really helpful. Um, it, it also is a great, so the mind map, I think, is another way to tap into our creativity, right? Because it is visual. Like I got out my different color, I'm looking at it now, I got out my different colored highlighters. You know, it wasn't enough that I have the lines connecting different, different, you know, projects or aspects of what I'm doing. Um, I had to color code it too. And that worked for me, right? So you may do the same thing. A lot of the um, examples of mind maps that you might find online have different colors on them as well. And so it, it does, I think it boosts your creativity. It gets you thinking in a, in a more colorful way, no pun intended there. Um, and so that's a good workout for your brain as well. And and so at the end of it all, if you have this aerial view, because that's really what you're creating, right? You're, you're, it's like if you were to picture yourself climbing on top of a big ladder and looking down at your mind map, that is, that is the aerial view, right? Where you can see it at once, um, then you can make better decisions about where to put your time and energy. So it's going to increase your productivity. And look, it's flexible, right? Like you create your mind map and as you work on different things, um, then you're going to make accomplishments. So it's something that's going to grow and change. So your mind map can look different every week, maybe not every week, every couple of weeks. Um, and so that's helpful. And, and, you know, again, just, just being totally transparent with you guys, I'm looking at my mind map right now and I'm, I'm grateful because there's something I'm looking at that I didn't get to last week and it's going to be a priority today. And if I didn't have my mind map, would I be as aware of that, right? Because we've all done it. We've all done it where we we sit up 
at one point at night um, and we're like, oh my gosh, I still haven't done fill in the blank. I still never made that phone call. I didn't send that email. I forgot to start. I didn't finish, right? We, we've all done it. And so if we have it in front of us in the form of a mind map, a visual you know, uh, diagram, I think it's, it's much more effective for us to get things on our priority list and on our calendar. So um, I do my mind map like what they call a spider web with bubbles. <laughs> That's the technical term, a spider web with bubbles. But it's where I draw that one bubble, that concept in the middle, and then draw lines out and make it look kind of like a web. And, and each uh, part is in a bubble. Uh, there's other ways of doing mind maps. Um, and you can see that online. Some people do it in a more linear fashion, like a workflow. Uh, you know, those of you who are more technical might make it look like that. Um, it, it, it really doesn't matter, whatever. And, and if you decide to research it today, uh, you, you'll find different ways of doing it. I think that you have to use the style that matches your personality. Um, and so the web and the bubbles match my personality. I'll let you think about why that's true, but we'll, we'll go on to finishing today's conversation. Um, so you can do this on paper. Um, I did it on just a regular sheet of, of paper that I had in my printer. Um, if you feel like you need something bigger, get a poster board, you could do it on your whiteboard, you could do it online and then have it, you know, as a, as a, a digital document, you know, that's up to you too. So the only thing I will caution for some of you out there, uh, one of these mojos, we'll have to talk about the disc profile and the different behavior profiles. But those of you who are a high S or C, if you know what I'm talking about, don't overanalyze it. Don't spend hours figuring out the style and the size and all that stuff. Just, just figure out quickly what is the right system for you and get into it, right? Because you want to get into getting the information flowing from your head onto the paper. I will tell you another benefit of this is that I felt so much better. I felt so much better and I had to share it with a, a lot of people that report to me or that work with me um, immediately because I was so excited, right? And then um, someone that I work very closely with who is my right arm and assists me with a lot of things, she got a copy of it because I needed her to see, you know, as my director of operations, I needed her to see where I was. And I needed her to have a visual too of what I was working on. And if you, you know, and, and in our case, she can hold me accountable as well, right? I would hope that she's gonna ask me, how are we doing with some of those things that you had, you know, that you mapped out? Um, and that's another benefit of creating the mind map because she can't crawl in my head. Right. She can't get up in here and know exactly what I'm thinking or what what balls are in the air or all the different things I'm working on. Um, and so getting it on paper um, is a great way for you to share it with someone who can help you, uh, who's either partnered with you to, to work on some parts of the project or some of the projects and or who can hold you accountable to it. So, you know, that's another benefit of creating uh, the mind map. And I will also say doing it in this visual way, gosh, if I had to, I'm still looking at it. Like if I had to write all this out, forget it, right? But if, if I can just create this visual diagram with keywords, key concepts, I know what it means, right? So next to one of the companies that I lead, I have the name of someone and, and I know what it means. I know what I need to work on with that person. So it can be sort of shorthand, but yet it can capture a lot of information across a broad spectrum of, of whatever is going on in your world. So that is my, um, I, I, I wanna say coaching for you today. I don't want to say advice, right? Because and that's also, you know, uh, important for you to distinguish because advice, you know, solicited or unsolicited, uh, it could be someone's opinion and it could be good or, or not good for you. Um, I'm a coach. And so I'm here to just put questions to you every Monday morning and share information that allows you to select and, and uh, choose to use in your world. So I just want to, I want to coach you and encourage you to spend some time thinking about how this could 
could benefit you. Not if, but how, right? So ask yourself, how could creating a mind map today really benefit me? How could drawing out and creating this visual of, of information, of key concepts, of uh, thoughts and ideas, of, of things that I want to accomplish, how could that visual tool that will organize or create some structure starting from a single concept, how could that help me today? Could it help me capture important information? Could it help me organize my thoughts? Could it help me understand how things are related to, e to each other? Could it even help me solve some complex problems, right? And so um, again, I will encourage you to, to time block probably, if this is your first time doing this, at least I would say, you know, 45 minutes. Um, I, uh, depending on how much you have going on, you know, you may need the full 45 minutes. Some of you might be able to do this in 20 and that's cool, right? It's just, you'll know when you're done. Like when you start writing, you, you're, you're just going to start flowing. Like your brain just really starts flowing. And, and that's the other benefit because sometimes in our thinking, um, we can turn it off a little bit when we feel, see, when we're thinking of all these moving parts and all these things we have to do, if, if we start to feel a little overwhelmed by it, we, we might feel like that peak in our anxiety. And so your nervous system is going to do something to shut you down. It's going to do something to help regulate you. And so you may turn off the flow of information, right? But when we sit down and do that mind map with the pen and the paper, we're telling our brain, we're going to start thinking. And as we start to, to draw things out and the things start flowing, our brain is partnering with us and saying, yes, this is great. Let's get this all out on paper. Let's keep going. And so you're going to find the flow just keeps moving you right around the paper. So uh, I'm going to say this is a great way for you to enhance your productivity this week. Uh, it's a great way for you to also develop uh, more thoughts around what needs to get done and what priority. I do believe it stimulates our brain and helps us to foster some creativity. I, I absolutely believe that to be true as well. Um, and it's going to be a great way for you to recall information and make sure something is not falling through the cracks. And that was what prompted me to do it because I was feeling like I was, I was uh, chasing after a lot of things. And uh, it was important for me to get it down on paper so I didn't drop the ball or forget something. I see um, Jill's here with me on Zoom. Good morning, Jill. She said, this is a great way uh, to manage a project. Absolutely. And um, yes, it is definitely about focusing on some details and relieving some anxiety. You're hundred percent right. So, um, and I know we got a lot of you watching on Facebook this morning. So uh, if you have any thoughts or questions, definitely use uh, the chat and let me know. And I'll share some more information about mind mapping with you. I'll, I'll share a couple of diagrams with you um, and maybe a website or something to just get you some resources. And if I can help in any way, please just reach out. So today we talked all about the benefits of mind mapping and I, I trust you're inspired. So that's my goal is to inspire you to think differently and take action. So happy Monday, make it a great week. Thank you for joining me every Monday uh, and continue to connect with my with me and each other. And if you find value in this, please continue to share our Facebook group with others and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to uh, have you subscribe because then when I post new content, you'll get a, an alert, share the YouTube channel with other people as well. Um, so thanks again for being here. Have a powerful week and I will see you next Monday. Take care, Anna. Bye. Bye-bye.